Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And if you'd like to post your own creation on Instagram, use hashtag 30DSCBL9. And today's prompt for the Dotty About Flare is florals. This is a sketch for today, and it's super cute. And I did use florals. The um, picture that I'm going to be scrapping is of my daughter and Stevie Nicks. And here I am showing the sketch right there. And I'm using, let's see, it's Simple Stories Vintage Spring Garden, I think it is. Or something garden. <laughs> it's one of those. And I'm showing the dies there. Oh, I forgot to use my chicken wire. I did have it already cut. I don't know what I did with it. I didn't see it. So I apparently didn't use it. And the uh, wood grain is Craft Consortium. I'm using that punch for the smaller flower. And I already punched them out in orange cardstock. Well, it's kind of a burnt orange. And then the center, I used one of the papers out of the 6 by 8 paper pad. And it's the same one I used for the flowers there to the right. And it's tone on tone with little roosters on it. And I was using my stylus there to shape them in, by rolling it around in the center of it. And these I'm going to ink. And they're from Pink, Pink Fresh. They're not from Pink Fresh. They're from Diamond Press. And I am doing the mountain and valley folds on this to give it a little more texture and shape because they're kind of on the flat side and they may be made to go on top of each other because one is a little bit bigger than the other but they have holes in them so I put cardstock on the back so a color would show underneath the flower. I'm using my tag punch here and I punched out some of the green plaid first and now I'm going to punch out some wood grain just to go on the top. I'm not doing the whole tag but I wanted to have a two-tone tag and I decided to go ahead. First I thought about doing just a solid green but then I decided to use the wood grain instead. And I think the, the original sketch used seven and I, they were probably an inch wide but my tag maker there it, the smallest it has is for one and a half inch. So mine are one and a half inch and I only got six on there. I couldn't fit seven. I did cut a strip to go down the side because the original sketch has that. And I'm going to use the wood grain behind the photo. I pulled out two sheets because I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. I am cutting them apart and kind of layering them. And I'm even going to cut pieces apart behind the photo to fill in spaces to make them longer. Oh, I also cut out that border with the hearts. It is Memento, and it does come with a set of three dies, and they're four cards. But of course, you know, anything you use on a card, you can also use on a layout. And so I'm going to add it to that green strip right there. That little piece right there at the top that I'm putting on there now, it's going to get cut a little in the end because it's kind of hanging out a little too long there. But I don't think about it until I see the rest of it done. The Some of these have like two tones of wood, like two different pieces put together. And some don't. Some will be solid looking all the way across. But I like the variation of it. And I like the fact that it had green in it. And since I was using green for my layout, I thought it worked pretty good. The paper, the green uh, gingham paper that you see, it is also Simple Stories. It's from a Simple Stories paper pad. But it is super thin, so it does need layered when it gets used or put on top of something some way. It can't be a foundation piece without something behind it. That paper in the background with the wood grain and the paint, it is also from that paper pad. So I did put a sheet of white cardstock on the back to 
make it a little more sturdy because I am adding a lot of stuff on this layout. Well, a lot of layers. The flowers, it has it to the left and the right of the photo. And I'm going to extend just a little bit beyond there. And you will see a few more flowers in the photo at the end. Because when I was taking the pictures, I thought, oh, I just need a few more here. And added just a few more. I think it was three. I, I, it really was just three. <laughs> Except for the little tiny flowers, the larger flowers and the greenery all came from a diamond press die that's called Tropical Foliage. I love that die set. It's got larger leaves and then it's got smaller leaves. And I only use the smaller leaves on this layout. And I'm just trying to scatter the little small ones and just add a little more, well, a variation of colors what I'm trying to add on there. I thought about making them like a vanilla color, not exactly white, but then I decided to make them the burnt orange. Well, it started out more of a brighter orange, like the lead on Stevie Nicks' collar, but by the time I inked it, it was more of a burnt orange. And my photo is of my daughter, and Stevie Nicks had got sent off for obedience school and bird dog training. And she was missing her, so she drove an hour and a half to go see her. And my title is, I'm so excited, and I just can't fight it, from the Pointer Sisters song, because they were both pretty excited. Generally, Melody's dogs are excited when they see her. I mean, she can go to the store and be gone 15 minutes and come back, and they're just as excited if, if they haven't seen her in a week or something. But, uh, yeah, she was just excited to see Stevie as Stevie was her this time. And the dog trainer is the one who took the photo. I'm using one of the stickers from the sticker book. I did mount it on cardstock because, you know, those stickers are pretty thin. And it says, love this most. And then I'm also using bloom and grow right below that. Because Stevie had grown in the weeks she had been down there. And Melody was talking about how much she had grown. She looked pretty big before she left to me. But, you know, she, she knew her better than I did. So, yeah, she does look big in this photo. I added the windmill mainly because this place is kind of in the country. And another state. I mean, it's not that far away. Like I said, an hour and a half. But I thought, well, that will look cute on there. And I'm adding the sticker that says together. And I did layer it too. And then I put a heart. And that heart is from a punch that I have in it stamping up. And it was already punched out from another layout and I didn't use it. So I thought I'd use it on this one. And then I added a couple of hearts up there that was the black gingham. But I'm going to end up moving one of them down and putting one of the ones from the, well, that uh, foam sticker sheet up there. Just so I'd have one at the bottom that's the foam, foam sticker and then one at the top. And right now I am adding nails to my wood grain to make it look like there's nails in the plank. I thought about punching some out with my Oh, I forget what it's called. It's one of those heavy duty punches. But then I decided to just doodle them on here instead. And while I was talking, I guess, I forgot to mention that uh, I used Jelly Bean Sue little wooden disc uh, circles. I'm not sure what they are. They kind of remind you of enamel dots, but they're wood and they're flat. And I put them on the tag so it didn't have tags that didn't have nothing there where the holes are at. So there is wood on my layout. But I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the links to everybody else that are doing the 30 Days of Sketches with Christy this time around, round nine. And some of them will be doing it every day and some will be doing it on the days that they can. But I think they'll all be listed down there. And there's my title. I'm so excited. 
I thought about putting we're so excited, but there wasn't really enough room for that. <laughs> it would have been two more letters right there. So it's I'm so excited, just like the song is. And I just can't hide it because, yeah, they were pretty excited, as you all can tell. And let's see. Oh, I guess I showed this again. Or maybe I had it twice in there. I'm not sure. But uh, there's a the little wooden disc that's on each of the tags. And there's my flowers. And as you can see, the valleys and the mountains where you fold it in and out to give them a little more texture and dimension to the layout. And the variety of three leaves from that die set. And I think that's about it. So if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But yeah, this is the first day of the 30 days of sketches. This is not my first layout, but it is the first day. So that means you have 29 more layout sketches and lots and lots of inspiration to come because there's lots of participants in this but have a happy scrappy week take care and stay safe check out all the links down there below bye